So in the past two weeks, I've been bombarded by questions from my friends and patients regarding whether those who have been vaccinated with Sinovac can now be given booster shots for COVID-19 infection, not because it is already allowed by the local government or by the national government, but simply because there are available vaccines of Moderna or Pfizer that they can get. Whether this is right or not, let's watch this. What we know for sure is that based on the World Health Organization recommendation is that severely or moderately immunocompromised people who have been vaccinated, whatever vaccines they've got, should be offered a third dose based on what the advisory committee of the World Health Organization recently recommended due to the high risk of breakthrough infection among these immunocompromised patients. This advice is true to all patients whose immune systems are considered diminished and should therefore get another shot if they initially receive vaccines made by Pfizer, Moderna, AstraZeneca, Johnson & Johnson, Sinopharm, or Sinovac, based on the recommendation from the members of the Strategic Advisory Group of Experts on Immunization of the World Health Organization. But we have to remember that there's a difference between a third dose of the primary series of vaccination and a booster shot. What we're talking about, these people with compromised immune systems need a third dose as an additional priming process so that they're fully protected. In other words, the additional dose is offered as part of the extended primary series of the first two doses, since these are the individuals who are less likely to respond adequately to the vaccination of the primary first two doses. And therefore, they are also at higher risk of severe COVID-19 disease. At the same time, the officials of the World Health Organization also recommended that specifically, for example, in our country where Sinovac is the predominant vaccines given to our population, patient population of age 60 or over who were inoculated initially in the past since March or April, ideally it should also be given a third vaccine dose, ideally of the same brand as the first course of treatment. Now, the committee was also very careful to distinguish its own recommendation for additional dose for immunocompromised people from the booster shots that are already given in some parts of the country, like United States and Israel. The booster programs that we have in the United States and Israel are largely intended to boost immunity in healthy individuals over certain ages actually have drawn criticism from the World Health Organization. However, the committee recently have also recommended that people over the age of 60 given additional dose of shots made by Sinopharm or Sinovac some one to three months after completing their schedule, citing evidence in certain studies in Latin America showing observational data on Sinovac shots clearly showed that in older age groups, the vaccine performs less well after two doses. But here's a word of caution. The call for booster shot after Sinovac, based on panel's recommendation, is a distinct thing from giving additional doses. Booster doses to those people who had an adequate primary response to vaccination. The addition, therefore, of a third dose or moving into a two plus one schedule is expected to provide a strong immune response and therefore one expects a much better protection. The question is whether all should be given boosters. We need to await more data as the World Health Organization has not yet determined that fully vaccinated, otherwise healthy people really need added protection from boosters. 
We will await the plant committee hearing and review data with regard to booster issues in the general population soon to be held on November 11. We know that some countries have already started giving booster shots to those who receive Sinovac as primary vaccines. Uruguay, for example, have given Pfizer boosters to Sinovac vaccine recipients, especially those who already received two doses of Sinovac less than two weeks after the Delta variant was detected in a South American country. Based on their protocol, after 90 days or approximately three months of the second Sinovac job, people then received the mRNA shot from Pfizer. Last August of 2021, in a Turkish data, it showed that using Sinovac vaccine as a booster did better than mRNA vaccine in terms of response. The data was based on a Turkish study of more than 30 million vaccinated citizens, which indicated that the highest level of protection was seen in people who received three doses of the same inactivated vaccine, Sinovac, rather than in those who received two doses of Sinovac and one booster shot of an mRNA vaccine. But in a different study recently presented in October of 2021, but this time conducted in a very small population, 1,053 healthcare professionals working in the university hospital. It showed that for those fully immunized with Sinovac, adding a Pfizer vaccine as a booster yielded greater protection than a third Sinovac vaccine. In that data, healthcare workers who receive a booster shot of the Pfizer dose were found to have a higher antibody level, thought to be a marker of vaccine efficacy, than those who received the third dose of Sinovac when these antibodies were measured 28 to 45 days after the shot. But remember, when we talk about immune protection, we are only not talking about antibodies, but also the memory T and the B cells, which cannot be calculated or measured. What the study showed is that those given the Pfizer booster showed a significantly superior protection compared to Sinovac in terms of antibody level and disease status. But they concluded that overall, regardless of vaccine brand as your booster, the study clearly showed that all the participants in the study who received three doses of vaccine achieved protective antibody levels regardless of the third dose vaccine preference. And this conclusion was also recently proven in the Refuerzo project in Chile that was used in the SAGE meeting in July of 2021 during the committee hearing of the World Health Organization. It showed that whatever vaccine was used as a booster, all boosters, whether it was Sinovac, whether it's Pfizer, provided sufficient antibody level response. And therefore, the question is, should you try to mix and match? Now, this has become an issue in our country, especially in our city, because uh, while I don't have the definite source yet, it's possible that some people have already gotten their own second or third dose of a different vaccine through a less than legitimate means. You may probably know someone, your sibling or your relatives or your friends who has done this, perhaps swayed by the data in social media saying that Sinovac is a weak vaccine and therefore they have to get a booster to protect themselves against COVID-19 and therefore wants an added protection by getting a booster shot even in a non-legitimate manner. So far, the preliminary NIH or National Institute of Health data from the uh, United States showed some advantage of mixing vaccines, but the problem is that the number of people tested in the mix and match is small. Furthermore, the duration of the study in the mix and match is very short, and that as with previous experience, serious adverse events of the mix and match and too much booster shots wouldn't be discovered until tens of thousands or more recipients get the so-called combination or specifically with more booster shots.
On top of this, it still remains to be seen whether the changes in the immune system seen 15 days after the vaccine ultimately will translate into disease protection. So for those of you who are listening, who have received unauthorized booster shots, is that what happens if later research proves that a different combination will result into better protection? The issue also is if the government will now call you for an additional booster shot based on your initial record, but you already received an unauthorized booster shot, what then? First, we have to remember that too much of a good thing is not always good, and that too much booster shots or too much additional shots of certain vaccines may turn out to be bad. Patients and friends have been asking me about this issue for so long. I'm sure you know of your friends and relatives about additional shot of a Pfizer or a Moderna for those who have gotten Sinovac. But it's always a bad idea if you become your own vaccine advisory committee member and therefore you got a shot or an additional shot based on your own will. Deciding whether to mix and match your primary Sinovac vaccine with other vaccines and as to when should be the booster shot done should be decided based on a safe and scientific manner rather than randomly do it just because your friends have extra or ordered an extra dose of another brand vaccine and is now readily available for you to get it. It is but very important that we await final recommendations from the Department of Health based on the World Health Organization recommendation that finally the Philippines is to heed the World Health Organization advice on third dose, specifically among immunocompromised patients and those who are elderly above the age of 60. Likewise, soon there will also be a third dose for the healthcare workers as they are also considered at higher risk of breakthrough infections because of the nature of the job. It is but important that we await legitimate sources of boosters or third doses than getting different vaccines without legitimate documentation. Be aware, be cautious, and I definitely will not recommend it at this time. With that, I hope this video helps you decide whether to go on and get this booster shot on your own free will or not. Again, this is Dr. Jerry Tan. Thank you for listening.